Hi everyone, we at the Jesuit Institute wish you all a very happy Easter in these days. In these Easter days, the Gospels tell us how after the resurrection, the disciples locked themselves away in fear. And their story is our story in these days. When we celebrate the resurrection, when we too remain in lockdown, when we are locked away and isolated from one another, separate from our loved ones, and fearful of what might happen as COVID-19 continues to spread in our own country and around the world. However, despite the lockdown, we, God's people, have reason to hope. Watch what Jesus does for those disciples. Jesus stands among them in their lockdown and says to them, Peace be with you. I believe we are invited in the midst of our own lockdown and all the legitimate worries and concerns and fears that we have to hear the risen Lord say to each one of us today, Peace be with you. In the days ahead, take up the scriptures and read those wonderful resurrection narratives. So many of them come alive and speak to us about where we are now. They are our story as we live in these tumultuous and difficult lockdown times. Today, the Jesuit Institute released a letter, and we will do that each week of the lockdown. In that letter, you will find information on our various different activities, the series, the journey. This week, we are reflecting on the following themes, for example, powerlessness, children and lockdown, the tricks that our minds can play on us, messaging, and a way to deal with difficult, painful emotions. Our daily reflections by email continue this week. Feel free to share them with others. If you don't get them, you can subscribe to them on our website. Our online news platform, Spotlight Africa, is regularly updated with news and reflections and perspectives from people, not just in South Africa, but sometimes as well from other parts of the world. We also reflect on the power of media that is at the service of us all for the common good during this time of lockdown. We want to applaud the creativity of many priests and parishes who for the first time are working on ways to stay in touch through technology. We tell you as well about the great offer that the Catholic Weekly, the Southern Cross, is making. So go and check that out and support them too. Finally, and most importantly, we are concerned about the toll the lockdown is taking on the poor. People are going hungry. They cannot feed their families. Some communities have run out of resources and cannot afford food parcels for those in need. And so we suggest ways and are happy to hear from you of others that you may have thought of that we can help at this time to alleviate that burden. We pray for all those infected and affected daily. We pray for those in essential services, thanking them and their families for their tireless work and their sacrifice for us all. Remember, if you need to talk as the lockdown gets longer and more monotonous and more difficult, we too have trained spiritual directors that we can connect you with. This will obviously be confidential. Just contact us and we can help you. Remember to keep safe. Be intentional about your hygiene and your social distancing, even as the lockdown gets harder. May the risen Lord Jesus bless you all at this time.